Okay, so I've got an oil pressure issue in this Nissan Titan. As soon as I turn the key on, I don't have to start the car, it pegs 100% high. Even with the truck started, oh, I need gas. Even with the truck started, changing the RPM, nothing. So that's nine times out of 10 an oil pressure sending unit. And I'll show you how to change that on this truck. Okay, so here's a new sending unit transmitter that I got off Amazon. This was about $25, it was a lot cheaper than the, the O'Reilly's or AutoZone. And I think the reason is because this is kind of a, looks like almost like a pop metal, but the reviews were very good. So we're gonna try it out. Um, it's about $50 cheaper than it was at the auto parts store and uh, probably over $100 cheaper than the, from the dealership. So this is a uh, 24 millimeter, or if you don't have a metric set, which I don't, because it's at my aunt's house, a uh, 15 16 wrench will work. So that's what we're gonna use. This is located right behind your oil filter assembly. So if, you still have your skid plate on. You'll have to remove your skid plate just like you're doing an oil change. You have four bolts. One, I don't even know where they're at. I don't have to put the skid plate back on. But, you know, where the hell are they? Oh, right here. So it mounts to the bottom of this one. So one, two, three, four. Remove your skid plate and then you'll see where your oil filter's at. And Behind this uh, oil cooler line, you'll see it right here. So I'll go ahead and remove that. Now some oil is gonna come out. So I've got uh, some paper here on the deck. Uh, I don't think enough is gonna come out where I'm gonna need a drain pan. So first thing you're gonna do is take off that electrical connector. Okay, so we're gonna remove this electrical connector real quick. Just gonna press on the tab, push in, and then pull out. Okay, so there we go. And then if you can fit your wrench up in there, taking off this fitting here. Okay, so here we go. There's not a lot of room in here. I'm told that two wheel drives have a lot more room and you can actually get this thing from the back end. Finger loose here. Okay, so here's the old one. Here's a new one. Try not to get oil in the electrical connector. Can install the electrical connector. This one doesn't seat flush. It's a little bit different design than the uh, stock. Well, I don't know if this is stock, but whatever came out, this is the old one. And I did have an oil leak up here that I fixed. There's another video on that. But I think some oil made it got in here and on this connector and ruined it. So I cleaned out the electrical connector um, and reinstalled it. So we're gonna go ahead and off check it real quick. Okay, so back here in the cab, I'm gonna turn the power on just to the AC position and that oil pressure shouldn't shoot up to the top. And see, that's good. So it's indicating a low oil pressure, which means that the engine isn't running. We'll go ahead and start it. Let's see if we get a little bit of a spike here. Boom. Okay, so it looks like we're fixed. Easy fix uh, if you've got a uh, deep socket anyway. Um, and easier fix if you have a two-wheel drive. Okay, thanks for watching. Appreciate you.